Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jordson. I'm Mike Gamble. And Nick Kinzel is off tonight, but we got Patrick Cotto with us. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, Ian. Doing good. Thank you so much for having me on the Stock Car Spectacle. I think it's safe to say that I'm Nick's replacement for this show. So um... Yeah, either you or Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, if, um, if you're going to be Nick, though, you got to go on some real crazy, wild rant. Oh, that's that, been his that, thing every time easy. lately. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey boy. No <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, see what, we'll see what I can warm up. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, guys, we are going to Richmond Raceway this weekend. Xfinity Series is off. And we got the Truck and Cup Series so we start off the weekend with the truck series with the Worldwide Express 250, 187 mile race. Stages one and two are 70 laps each, and the final is 110 for a total of 250 laps. Last year's winner, John Hunter Nemechek. We'll see if he can get it done this weekend. He hasn't looked good so far. Uh, most manufacturer wins here is Chevrolet with six wins. So. Mr. Patrick Cotto, who you got to win the truck series race on Saturday night? Oh, well, well Saturday night's all right for some fun truck racing. I'm going to go with uh, one of the Smiths, and his name is Chandler. Chandler Smith. All right. Yeah. KBM's been looking real fast lately. They've been kicking ass. So I can see that happening, especially with a Toyota dominated track. I just want to know why that, why did, why Mitch Richmond decided to have two regular season races instead of like you know one regular season and then the playoffs yeah it's the way well, it worked out Pat. yeah yeah that's how it goes sometimes but mr mike gamble <laughs> who you got to win first off i would just like to answer pat real fast as a ryan blaney fan as well i'm very glad that richmond is no longer in the playoffs it's a very bad track for my boy <laughs> Yeah. So we're we're glad about that. If you're Second gonna take off, a track out of the playoffs, take out double Texas. I mean, I'm not gonna argue that fact with you, but we're also glad <laughs> that we don't have to worry about good old Richmond in the playoffs. But anyway, one guy yes. who is sad. No, actually, they are in the playoffs. I well, I misspoke, are, but yeah. yes, exactly. One man who is very glad to see that in the playoffs for the trucks is a man who runs very consistently well here. I'm going to go with 88 of Matt Crafton. I mean, veteran driver. He's driven mm-hmm. on all the hardest tracks. He's been here so many times. I can definitely see that that guy getting it done. Matt Crafton is a legend in the truck series. Absolutely. Um, You know, most points in the last 10 races at Richmond via racing reference, um, five top tens in his uh, last seven races there. So, Obviously, he knows how to get around this track. And, uh, yeah, just a very good track for the 88. And once again, Toyota dominated. Yeah, exactly. But I'm going to be going with a blue oval for Saturday night. I think old Zane Smith is going to get it done. Every time that we go to a track, we say, oh, you know, the Chevys get it done here. The Toyotas get it done. Nope, Zane Smith comes and gets it done, kicks some ass. This is why this kid is killing it in the truck series right now. He's going to be the series champ by the end of the season. Let's go Zane Smith. You're just dying on that hill, huh? That he's going to be the champ. I, mean, I like it. I respect it. This this kid's way too good. I cannot see it being taken away from him like it happened to John Hunter last year. Time no will tell, way. my friend. Time will tell. Yep. But, guys, let's go to Sunday for the Federated Auto Parts 400. 300 mile race, 400 laps. Stage one is 80 laps. Stage two is 155. And the final is 165 laps to end this thing. Previous winners here we had Truex last fall and Denny Hamlin in the spring. Most team wins here is Joe Gibbs Racing with 18. And most manufacturer wins is Chevrolet with 39. Guys, who's your pick to win? Mikey, I got you first, bud. All right, gentlemen, we're going to a Toyota track. Um, I know it's been very good to Joe Gibbs Racing. However, I'm going to go with a Joe Gibbs Racing adjacent team. Um, that 23 has been looking fast week in and week out, you know, coming off a second place weekend where they also got the pole. I'm taking Bubba Wallace to play spoiler and make his Love playoff it. debut. That's awesome, man. Great pick. Yeah. 
that would definitely definitely play some freaking spoiler because right now with points he is nowhere near getting into the playoffs so that would be perfect for him he's getting hot at the right time too so if he makes the playoffs who knows what the who knows what he could do obviously sometimes that's exactly it if you're fantastic in the regular season and you fall off in the playoffs and it's all worth nothing really um how many times have we seen it where Guys just kind of hang around, hang around. Kyle Bush's last championship comes to mind. Um, mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, they turn it on in the playoffs, and here we are. So, Yeah, exactly. I mean, even look at Tony Stewart's uh, 2011 championship. He got hot at the right time, right at the end of the summer, and started kicking ass and just won that freaking thing. So who knows what Bubba could do? I'm not saying he's going to go on and win the championship, but, damn, he could make some noise in the playoffs if he actually does it. So I like that pick, Mike. That's a good one. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right, Mr. Pat Loco, what you got for Sunday, <laughs> bud? Well, the Pat Loco is staying with the good old Toyota on this Toyota Dominator track. And we're going to ride with Joe Gibbs Racing. We're going to take Martin Truex. All right. I mean, that's a safe pick right there. Every time we go here, you can always count on Martin Truex. He kicks ass here at Richmond. So why not? Especially at night. That's when he really kicks ass, too. So not a bad pick. Well, if well, if Richmond does get some uh, bad weather on Sunday, uh, maybe that might be the case. Yeah, not bad. All right, guys, for my pick for Sunday, his first Xfinity race here, he came in second. Always kicked ass down here in the Xfinity series. I got to go with the old part-timer, number 16, Noah Gregson. Going to be getting it done. Going to be getting his first Cup Ooh, Series win boy, at Richmond that's... Raceway. He was running top five at Michigan Speedway. He's about to be going to one of his best tracks. He won here last year in the Xfinity series. Always kicks ass. Overperforms in that colleague equipment. I think we're going to see another 16 in victory lane this year. And it's going to be Noah Gregson getting his first win. I know that is a very hot take. That is <laughs> a long shot, but I've seen what crazy it, things happen. What makes it great is the, the, the backlash and everything afterwards, the repercussions. You know, a new winner, but it doesn't matter because technically he's not running for points at this level. So he yeah, just throws right. everything off once again. Yeah. I mean, he's coming off such a big hot streak right now. One, he swept the weekend with stages, didn't get the win, but he finished third. Um, freaking got the pull, had a hell of a cup series race as well at Michigan. So, and he just signed signed full time with a cup series team. I think the sky is the limit for him right now. I think he's just going to go out there and kick ass on Sunday and just watch. He's going to surprise the world and get that first cup win. Yeah. Hey, who knows? Weirder things have happened. Yeah. We shall see, boys. It's but... definitely going to be one of those surprise races on Sunday. Yeah. We'll see how Richmond holds out for us, bud. But yeah. you guys got anything else to add before NASCAR heads to Virginia? No, but we are excited for a good home stretch. Yeah. Only a few yes. races left before the regular season ends, boys. It's going to be nuts. Yeah. And I think you're really going to see the intensity ramped up this weekend. Um, You know, Again, this is a short track. Uh, this car has kind of made them have to drive a little bit more like a short track once again, too. I think you will see some tempers. I will think you're going to see some desperation based on guys in their situations. And maybe see a couple guys throw the throw a Hail Mary out there on Sunday. So this one has storylines galore built in. It's going to be a really exciting race. Can't wait to see what happens, what we're talking about next time on the show. Yep. Can't wait to see it all unfold. But, guys, thanks for tuning into the Stock Car Spectacle this week. Patrick Cotto, thanks for joining us again. Of course. Yeah, happy, happy to be on. Oh, yeah. Guys, make sure to follow Patrick on Twitter and Instagram, all that. Um, Cotto's mojo still is dead. Rest in peace, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're never getting that thing back up and running. You got to revive it as Pat Loco's mojo. <laughs> there we go. I like it. Work it up, work, work it on something. Working oh, on something. something big is coming. We're, 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 we're working on something now that I have some new some new technology and stuff. Um, trying to trying to trying to work make a new pro make a new project. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, all I will say on the matter is, professionally and personally, the biggest time you got to worry about what Pat Loco's up to when it's quiet. 
<laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It's it's a more of like a, it's, it'll be a situation where we can actually see each other. No more hearing us voices. You can you see go. us. We'll put it there. All right. Sounds good. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you haven't yet, make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. We're also on Spotify as well. And then you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So that'll wrap it up for us here at the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ann Jordan. I'm Mike Gamble. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.